13 aspiring NASCAR drivers from diverse backgrounds are on the racetrack in Mooresville this week. It's all part of NASCAR's Drive for Diversity. Those drivers hope to follow in the tire tracks of stars such as Bubba Wallace, Daniel Suarez, and Kyle Larson. And for many, striving for that goal means making a big sacrifice. WBTV's David Wisden is live at the Trackhouse Motorplex in Mooresville, where this racing combine is going on. And uh, David, you know, we hear about the NFL combine, but when it's a racing combine, what exactly does that mean? John, it's actually very similar because football players like the drivers that are here, well, they're both evaluated for their speed, for their physical fitness, and for their ability to take feedback. And they say that's all being done to make them the future stars in their sport. Nathan Lyons is just 14 years old, but he's mixing it up pretty well on the track today. That's good because when he's off the track, he'll be evaluated for how he did. Um, That's the story for Nathan and 14 other drivers from the ages of 12 to 20 something here today. And that's why they have a camera mounted on the go-kart. Nathan's story began when he was six and other than a love for Lightning McQueen, he had no interest in NASCAR. But then there was this reading contest. I had a program at my school and they gave us free NASCAR tickets. We had to read enough books and I, I really wanted to go. So ever since that, I've been addicted to the sport. That addiction led to a life-changing adjustment for Nathan's family. Two years ago, I moved from Texas to North Carolina to start racing. And now I'm here. I mean, this is race city here. So I mean, if you want to be a racer, you come to Charlotte. Said mom Leah as she watched Nathan turn every lap during the afternoon afternoon session. All of these drivers here say they have that dream of competing at NASCAR's highest levels. I hope so. It's the ultimate goal. Um, that's why we made the big move to pursue it. And NASCAR says the Drive for Diversity program was designed to get them there. So it'll be evaluated on how well they take and apply feedback, uh, you know, how, how physically fit uh, that they are. You know, these carts are pretty heavy and they're pretty, pretty quick, so they get around. It's a good workout for the drivers. Coaches give feedback on everything from driving to fitness to how to speak to reporters. The the ideal driver is fast. The ideal driver has uh, has a great personality uh, and, and is willing to learn. Nathan Lyons hopes he fits the bill, and he says once he discovered racing, everything changed. Before that, I was just a normal kid playing with crayons. <laughs> I just want him to go as fast as he can and do the best that he can. And you never know who might be here. I saw a man who was watching these drivers go by and I said, what are you looking for in these young drivers? And he said, speed and control. He should know. His name is Tony Glover and is a NASCAR crew chief. He won three Daytona 500s. Reporting live in Mooresville, David Wisner, WBTV on your side. All right, David, they sure do have the need for speed. Good stuff out there. Thanks. Molly.